fight against corruption and kleptocrats. The International Christian Chamber of Commerce, ICCC, an organization combating corruption globally, says corruption must be a Nigeria people's issue. At a campaign held last weekend against the predicament of corruption in Nigeria, active members of the chamber addressed ways and manners of confronting corruption within the country. We took up this campaign because corruption is not a problem just for EFCC or for ICPC alone. Corruption must be a Nigerian people's issue. Over the years, we like to complain and lament corruption. If you want to document the effect of corruption in Nigeria, it's possible that since 1960, corruption might have cost Nigeria and Nigerians two trillion US dollars in terms of human cost, in terms of social cost, in terms of infrastructural costs, in terms of lives that have been lost. Corruption is at the root of all our problems. The earth was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence. So the point I'm trying to make is that there is corruption in Nigeria is no news. It's happened before. But God always has an answer to situations like that. And in this case, he found a man to begin to make a, a difference. One other member of the chamber and a speaker at the awareness campaign, Okweyemi Agwaje of Resource Trust Company Limited, maintains that dealing with the Nigerian political constitutional structure will serve as a first step to waging war against corruption in Nigeria. You build the Kedja Industrial Estate, they build Sharada in Kanodo, the Easterners build Trans uh, Amadi in uh, A positive competition for development. But as the structure changed from a federal system to a pseudo unitary state, and this, uh, the, the, all the revenues were passed to the federal level, and all the powers were passed to the federal level, the concretization of Nigerian prebendalism happened over the period of military rule. And it is inevitable, given that structure, corruption is a symptom of that structure. So you will not deal with Nigerian corruption until you deal with Nigeria's political and constitutional structure. Discussants also shared varying views on how to abstain from corruption. Nigerians are actually engaging in corruption. Not some of them willing, some of them not willing. If you sum up corruption in reality, like I have a paper here which, you know, states how corruption is happening. There's corruption by compulsion. There's corruption by compulsion. You have no option. You have somebody dying, you have to you need help, you need assistance. The ambulance man tells you you have to pay this amount of money. It's wrong for him to charge that much. Some things I've seen here has actually pointed to the fact that it must start from us, from within. I got here, I didn't see up to 20 people in this hall, and I wondered why that, that had to be. I invited quite a number of people and they agreed. Some of my Facebook friends said, wow, we would have the opportunity to meet you. We'll be here so that we can at least get to meet you. And he told me about how many people had agreed to come here. But of course, um, we can see how many people made it. But it's not about how many people who made it today. I'll be glad in 20, 30 years to come to say I was here when SAC was launched. With the theme, Stand Against Corruption and Kleptocrats, participants were advised to voluntarily pledge against corruption in the country. I can say that I will commit myself to be an agent of change and be an agent of change to stop corruption and kleptocrats in Nigeria. So help me God. Amen. Perhaps the war against bribery, fraud, profiteering and extortioning, amongst other elements of corruption, has just begun. 